This week we're shooting lemonade in the park. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace, where you will learn innovative techniques on shooting a wide range of photography. Welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama. It's the camera store that has all the stuff that we're going to be using here in today's episode, except for maybe the bees that are flying around trying to sting me. Um, but anyway, here in Phoenix, Arizona, even though it's February, it's really nice and sunny, and so I was thinking about some delicious lemonade, and I thought, you know, I'd love to set up this really cool stock photo and do it in the studio, but guess what? Not everybody has a studio, and I thought, well, let's just shoot this outside. Maybe we could use this for like a church newsletter or a community event, something that says, hey, here comes our picnic, and we can shoot it now and sort of publicize all this stuff. So what I did was uh, we just found this park here that's got a really cool scene, and we got just a, a Walmart kind of a um, tablecloth there and threw that down over this little uh, piece of stone to try to make it look like a normal picnic table. Filled up a pitcher there with some lemonade, sliced up some lemons. We got everything set. And what I'm using for the background is this, uh, these plants here that are nice and green and have some color. Now the problem with this is because those are green, it's absorbing a lot of light. So even though the picture and the background have the same amount of light, that is showing up about a stop less than the picture. And so when I took some pictures, the background was just sort of dark and nasty. We wanted to have some color there. So what I'm doing here is I'm using this. This is a California Sun Bounce, and this is a mini. What it allows me to do is to throw some shade over the picture and uh, we still get some nice specular highlights. So we see some nice things in this picture here, some nice reflections, but it puts about a stop less light. And so now the background and the picture are gonna have the same amount of light and so that would really help us out. Now sometimes you might throw some light on this with a flash, but in this case I'm doing the opposite. I'm taking light away and using this small reflector allows me to still have some nice specular highlights. Now one of the things I want to play around with though is I might want to have it be a little bit more specular, so I'm going to throw a little bit of light into that picture. So I'm actually going to use this little guy right here. This is a micro mini and it allows me to bounce some gold uh, light into that and then I can look and see which of those uh, shots look best. Now to do this, I can't do this by myself. I need some help, so Matt, my assistant, is going to come help me. But before that, I want you to check out some of these contests from Adorama. Hi, everybody. It's Mark Wallace. Make sure you check out Adorama's latest contest. You could win some great prizes. All right, well, Matt's back there. He's going to throw some shade onto the picture here. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is I'm shooting with a really long lens. This is a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. And the reason for that is I want that background to appear closer to the picture. And so I'm going to use a long lens that gives us compression. And also it narrows the angle of view so we don't see all of the park. So if I was using a, a wide angle lens, we'd see too much detail. So this is going to really help us out. So Matt's going to throw this up here. He's going to shade that. And I'm going to get down here way low here. And I'm shooting in manual mode. And I'm metering off the table here, and I'm shooting at about uh, two thousandth of a second at f2.8. I want a really shallow depth of field so that I can really let that background fall out. Awesome. I really like that. Now, one of the things I want to do here, though, is I don't, I'm not sure this is specular enough. So I'm going to add a little bit of a reflection using this. This is the Micro Mini. It's going to give us some warming tones. I'm going to just catch the light and put that on the, the actual... There we go. I'm going to put that on the lemon up there to try to get just a little bit more punch out of this. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Oh, I like that. All right, well, we got some fun pictures of our lemonade, and those are going to be perfect for just like a community newsletter or something like that. Now, if you're shooting for stock photography, though, this is not going to be good enough. One of the things that we noticed here is this overhang has all kinds of like little holes and stuff, and so it's giving us a really weird uh, reflection, those specular highlights on the picture, and those would need to be fixed. So if we were shooting this for a professional photo shoot, we'd need to do some more things to really control those specular highlights. But in this photo shoot, we just wanted to have some fun and get some really cool lemonade shots to send out to neighbors and those types of things. So this is going to work great. Um, and the other thing we could have done is we could have, if we had maybe a remote flash or a speed light, we could have thrown some light onto those flower or to those plants back there to brighten them up. But I liked softening the light here uh, and dropping the light here instead of brightening that up. It's so much simpler. You don't have to have a bunch of gear and batteries and all that kind of stuff, and it's a lot less expensive, and so that worked just fine. 
Well, for more information about shooting all kinds of different things, don't uh, forget to subscribe to Adorama TV because that way you won't miss a single episode and it's totally free. In addition to that, all of these episodes are at the Adorama Learning Center where you can comment and discuss and talk to other people and there's links to all the gear that we've used. So make sure you check that out and you can see more about these awesome California Sun Balance things because they are cool. There's one that's actually about double the size that we use when we're shooting uh, other like models and things like that. So they're awesome. So check that out. And don't forget, again, subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. And I'll see you again next time. Just using a couple of light modifiers to, whoo. I just got really lightheaded for a second. <laughs> like, whoa. I need to drink some lemonade. I haven't had any blood sugar problems. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.